so this this right here this negative seven is your b that's where you start your graph um and you're always going to start so we're going to start from negative seven on the graph and that's always on this y-axis now by the way let's say i put it here and i go graph my line oh no it's the wrong line right what i, I did the wrong line what i do you just click it and it's gone all right so we're trying to start from negative seven and again this is why it's annoying that i can't write on the screen maybe i can minimize this now i have no right to complain fine so i go to negative seven and put a dot here all right now up here is negative five over two you've learned this you is your slope we're just basically graph we're plotting two points on one line two lines on one graph so this negative five over two is telling me go down five and right two again which i can't really do so i go Ooh, look at this. I already have a problem. I go down five and right two. I'm off the graph. What do I do? I can't fit it, right? So I'm going to go up five and left two. One, two, three, four, five, and left two. All right, that's my first graph. My second graph, I hope I'm staying in view here. Sorry about that. Uh, my second graph, I'm starting at negative one. I put a dot there. And this one half is telling me go up one over two. The top number is your up down. The bottom number is your right left. So I go up one over two. And voila, they intersect right there at negative two comma negative two. And that is my answer. Um, so far, I haven't um, taken the risk to try it without the parentheses. I'm just using this button for negative. Minus two comma minus two maybe on the next problem i'll try it without parentheses but so far every time i've done it with parentheses and that seems to be how they want it um and that's it all right um i'm do i'm gonna do like three problems here for you and then let you try them all right um and that's it that's gonna be it for the day but again i just you got to get these done and i have to keep you up to speed with this so next one again pretty straightforward we're starting at negative two and maybe i can make this bigger again now Okay, cool. So I'm starting at negative two. That's my go-to point. That's my B. So I put a dot there. And this tells me I go up to right three. Up to right three. Boom. Click it. There's my line. Now, um, this guy, I go up to positive one. I always start on the y-axis. Click it. And then this is telling me I go down one, right three. And you can even see the point of intersection right there. So by the way, what does this point mean? What's the whole deal here? This point is that the reason it's the solution to this set of equations, it's the answer, is because it is the only point that is on both lines. That point 3 comma 0 is on both lines. So it is the solution to this set of equations, to this system of equations. Um, all right, so it's maybe on the third one, I'll try it without the parentheses. All right, um, three comma zero parentheses. All right, so that's that one. Yeah, on the next one, I'll finally, I'll, I'll, I'll be really risky and I'll try it on. Uh, all right, so this one has, um, what's it called? A little curveball, right? Cause, well, let's, this part is easy. I think we start with the negative two. We put a dot there. What about this? What does this tell me? And this is where I would write on the screen, but I can't. Um, so you have to imagine like there's a one and a one here. So it's negative one over one. So, it, you know, that's what we used to write on the board. So it means you go down one and write one. And there's my line. All right. Um, the second one, I start at negative six. So I put a dot there. And this is telling me I go up one over three. Again, this is the same thing we've done, you know, except when now we're put we graph lines, but now we're graphing two lines. And we're just seeing where they intersect. And that place where they intersect is the answer. So that is three, comma, negative five. All right, people, I'm I'm really being wild here. I'm I'm gonna write it without the parentheses and see what happens. Three, comma, negative five. I don't think it's gonna like it. Ah, there you go. So it wants some um, and you have to put parentheses, but at least it didn't mark me wrong. Shift parentheses, shift parentheses, and boom. And that's it, all right? Under five minutes for the video. Um, so let me stop.